Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be about how you can reduce your risk of heart attack and stroke and death related to those things. So the drug semaglutide was shown to reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, and death that's related to heart disease by 20%. And it's actually being called a landmark clinical trial. And it's in people who've had cardiovascular disease. So this was actually the first study to show that a weight loss drug alone can have such protective effects. Semaglutide at the lower dose is what is known as Ozempic, and when it's at the higher dose, it's Wegovi. So for this study in particular, they were looking at the Wegovi version of the drug, so the 2.4 milligram dose, which is made by Novo Nordisk. This study called the SELECT trial basically compared how Wegovi performed compared to the placebo in its ability to prevent heart attacks and strokes in almost 18,000 people with heart disease and who were either obese or overweight but did not have diabetes. The researchers found a 20% reduction in heart risk. Previously, there was actually a similar trial done for Ozempic for those with type 2 diabetes, which showed it could reduce cardiovascular risk by 26%. So what this tells me is that semaglutide, whether it's at the high dose or the low dose, and whether people do or do not have type 2 diabetes, well, it causes people to have a much smaller risk when it comes to having a heart attack and stroke, at least in people who are overweight or obese. Now, in fairness, these results came by means of a press release, meaning the actual study results have not been published in any medical journal. So we still need to take a look at the full results and details when they are published, especially to look at any potential adverse events, even though based on previous studies, we already have a good idea of what the side effects of semaglutide are, mostly GI side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, upset stomach, and so forth. But the reason this is actually such a game changer is because it means that semaglutide at a dose of 2.4 milligrams has the potential to change how obesity is regarded and treated. For example, not only will it mean that doctors are more likely to prescribe Wegovy, it's also more likely that it's gonna be covered by insurance plans. Because this study adds to the growing body of evidence that weight loss is not just for cosmetic purposes, but actually reduces risk of death by reducing heart attacks and strokes, that is gonna give insurers uh, an incentive, incentive to pay for medications that cause weight loss. And yes, this also means the same for the other weight loss drugs like Manjaro, aka Terzepatide. So Manjaro at the time of this recording is only FDA approved for type 2 diabetes, but by the time you see this video, there's a good chance that will it will have been uh, FDA approved for weight loss as well. And pretty soon, Novo Nordisk is going to submit applications with regulators to add the cardiovascular benefits to the drugs prescribing information, which is only going to help matters in getting insurance plans to cover it. So why is it that with these GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy and Manjaro, they reduce the risk of heart attack, stroke, and death related to cardiovascular disease? Well, the answer is actually simple. It's not necessarily the loss of weight that causes it. In fact, these drugs were first developed with the intention of improving type 2 diabetes. And when they looked at the results, they found that one of the side effects was that it caused weight loss. So what these GLP-1 drugs do is a magnificent job of getting at the core problem when it comes to our metabolic health. They lower insulin resistance. You can see this in the results of these trials. For example, in the Surmount-1 trial, they lower insulin levels. So when you're improving insulin resistance, all of the metabolic parameters improve, meaning insulin levels improve, hemoglobin A1C levels improve, also the cholesterol numbers, LDL, and HDL improves, triglycerides, they're lowered, AST and ALT levels improve, meaning fatty liver disease improves, heck, even CRP levels, which are related to inflammation, that goes down. So um, also blood pressure, that improves. So all of these biomarkers, these lab measurements when we do our blood work, um, all of these things are related to metabolic syndrome and are tied to the risk of heart attack and stroke. So whenever you improve insulin resistance, you're lowering the risk of heart attack, stroke, and death, no matter what's causing it. So some people are able to accomplish this through lifestyle measures alone, meaning they're eating healthy, and in some cases, intermittent fasting, and of course, exercise. But sometimes, for some people, they can't get their 
just with lifestyle alone because we all have different genetics and we all have different epigenetics that affect our hormones and our metabolism. And even though for now these medications cost an arm and a leg, the good news is that more and more insurers will start covering them in the near future. And if you are considering going with a compounding pharmacy, just make sure that you're not getting the salt forms of the drug like semaglutide sodium or semaglutide acetate, which you can actually learn more about in this video right here.